Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on July 18th, 2023. Loot boxes, games companies agree to restrict access in UK. BBC, UK games industry to restrict access to loot boxes for children. Eurogamer.net, loot boxes to be restricted by UK Games Industry Trade Association. TechRadar, UKIEE publishes new guidance for paid loot boxes. Gamesindustry.biz, UK Games Industry reveals plans to restrict loot boxes, VGC. I am a prisoner, women fight Middle Eastern laws that keep them trapped at home. The Guardian, women in Middle East and North African countries must get men's permission to travel. The Independent, male guardianship rules restrict women's mobility, DW News. Where is Qin Gang? China's foreign minister has not been seen in public for three weeks. The Guardian, Qin Gang, China's missing foreign minister sparks guessing game. BBC, Qin Gang, speculations rife as Chinese foreign minister missing for over three weeks. The Independent, Chinese foreign minister's absence sparks speculation. Financial Times, China's foreign minister missing, she troubles or health issues, details. First U.S. nuclear sub docks in South Korea since 1981. BBC, U.S. man held by North Korea after crossing border illegally during tour. Sky News, U.S. nuclear subsurfaces in South Korea for first time since height of Cold War. The Times, U.S. deploys nuclear armed submarine to South Korea. Al Jazeera English, U.S. nuclear capable boomer sub visits South Korea for first time in decades. How China is using new railway line to extend influence in Myanmar. Trump can beat Biden, White House whistleblower Miles Taylor returns with fresh warning. The Guardian, Trump wanted to put cattle on ladders over border wall, ex-aid reveals. The Independent, senior ex-intelligence official warns second Trump term could fatally destabilize US. Pride and scorn as Bulgaria unveils EU's highest flagpole. The Guardian, Bulgaria mocked for erecting Europe's tallest flagpole. The Telegraph, cheers, cheers as Bulgaria unveils EU's largest flagpole. Rome shatters temperature record as Switzerland, Spain and Greece battle fires, live. Ukraine war, no fast results in offensive, warns Ukraine's General Sersky. BBC, Ukraine, no fast results in offensive against Russia, top general says, BBC News. BBC News, Ukrainian general expects new offensive to be long-haul battle with no fast results. Forces Network, Ukraine war, Gen. Alexander Sersky, the man behind Kyiv's renewed offensive. Gilgo Beach serial killer suspect had one chilling question after his arrest. The Independent, how a Manhattan architect is now prime suspect in the Gilgo Beach serial killer mystery. Daily Mail, Gilgo Beach murders police search Amityville storage unit. BBC, police say they are investigating whether suspected Gilgo Beach killer is linked to other unsolved crimes. News 12 Long Island, New York architect charged in serial killer case. Typhoon Talim lashes China as extreme weather grips Asia. BBC, Typhoon Talim makes landfall in China flooding southern cities. The Telegraph, classes are cancelled and public transport is halted as Typhoon Talim slams into southern China. The Independent, Typhoon Talim hits Vietnam after passing through China. CNA, tens of thousands flee as Typhoon Talim lashes China, Vietnam. Extreme Heatwave Live, EU to send planes to Greece to battle wildfires, Phoenix braced for record 19th day of punishing temperatures. The Guardian, live, wildfires intensify north of Athens, Greece. Reuters, Europe heatwave today, UK travel advice updated as record temperatures forecast. The Independent, according to the fire service, 81 fires went out in Greece in the past 24 hours. France 24 English, Greece wildfires, Drone footage shows scale of destruction. Commonwealth Games, 2026 event in doubt after Victoria cancels. BBC, bring him back to Birmingham calls after Victoria pulls plug on Commonwealth Games 2026. Birmingham Live, Commonwealth Games, Australia dropout could be death knell. BBC, perspective with Jack Tame, is it time for the Commonwealth Games to end? 
Trump says he is about to be arrested as letter confirms H's target of January 6 probe. The Independent, January 6 probe, Trump says he expects indictment. BBC, Donald Trump says he is target of criminal probe into 2020 election. Financial Times, breaking, Trump claims he received target letter in federal 2020 election probe. Europe heatwave, wildfires rage as heatwave grips southern Europe. BBC, extreme global weather continues as heatwave set to peak in Europe. BBC News. BBC News, Europe heatwave, red weather alerts in place in 20 of 27 Italian main cities, France 24 in English. France 24 English, the era of sunbathing to a crisp is over for British tourists, whether we like it or not. iNews, in pictures, Europe scorched by blistering temperatures as second heatwave hits. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.